Okay, we're back with more Stormblood. Kruznik X here, enjoying everything Stormblood has to offer. When we last left off, we had finally defeated... <clears throat> we took out Garlemald's newest weapon, and uh, Minago's now going to be spreading the word of our newfound alliance between the Eorzean Alliance and the Alamegan Resistance. But, anyways, that's all commonplace. Let's get back to work here. <clears throat> Where men go as one. Voiceovers? No voiceovers? No voiceovers. Owing to the efforts of you all, we have accomplished a great deal in short time. The Resistance thanks you for your service, Scions. I see operations here have been proceeding apace in my absence. Welcome back, Brother Dearest. I take it your efforts to gather new recruits were successful? Indeed. There were several amongst the Scion's ranks that were quite eager to take part in our joint endeavor with the Resistance, whom I am come to present. Commander Kemp, if I may. My name... My name is Arnvald Helentus, a, a half-breed, as you can doubtless tell. I'm here to fight for a free Alamigo, oh, where women like my mother are never made to suffer. I pray you grant me this honor. You are a true-born son of Girabania, same as me. This is not my honor to grant, but yours to freely take. Welcome, brother. With our swelling ranks and the aid of the Eorzean Alliance and the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, I believe we will soon be in a position to seize the initiative. Once our new recruits have received sufficient training, I will propose to Gen General Alden that we draw up plans for an assault on Castellum Velodina. Then, in the meantime, we'll make what preparations we can. What, we don't get to meet the other two? Yeah, well. <sighs> Ooh, what's going on now? Meanwhile, in the Royal Palace of Alamigo. United we prevail Assistant swords of all thought To the lakes of Valdenoth Oh wait, I'm singing the Garlemald theme song God damn it, sorry I've just been hearing this song stuck in my head It's... So this is the guy who we need to beat. Xenos Sos Galvus. Say what you will about Garlemald, they've got a catchy fucking national anthem. Dude, look at him! Alliance forces have occupied Castrum Orient and taken up positions along the length of the wall. Our patrols have engaged their reconnaissance parties on site, but there have been no significant exchanges, save one. A unit tasked with field testing prototype Magitech weapons was attacked. The weapons were destroyed, with the unit sustaining near total casualties. Near total. Go on.
My lord, there was but a single survivor from the unit in question, which falls under my command. According to his report, they were ambushed by a contingent of Aorzean Alliance regulars, abetted by resistance insurgents. Hmm. A simple ambush and only one survivor. A fine day's work. Mm. The stubbornness to survive is not without worth. He may live. However, the twelfth is no place for the weak. He shall be relegated at once, my lord. As you say, the twelfth is no place for cowards who count their lives more precious than the cause. Mm. Indeed, indeed. We have no need of cowards. My lord, uh... The fuck? Cowards. Who defer critical missions to their subordinates, who hide within their castra, never meeting their prey in battle, never staring into the whites of their eyes. Whoa, this dude is brutal! Why? When confronted with a heretofore unknown icon, did we surrender the wall to the Alliance? <coughs> because my honored father, in his infinite wisdom, has not seen fit to grant us leave to march on their lands. Accordingly, we have extended an invitation to our neighbors. Gear Abania is where we shall host them. The field upon which we shall enjoy the sport of kings. Patience is paramount. Cornered animals may have spirit, but they are ultimately predictable and very poor at sport. But if one dangles the promise of freedom before them while nipping at their heels to stoke their passion, then things become interesting. It is a delicate dance, one which asks much of my house. And so I put the question to you, my fellow huntsman. How shall we deal with these savages? My lord, I have a proposal. Silence, Alamegan. You do forget yourself. Only by the grace of Lord Van Balesar were you afforded a place here, and that in name alone. We have no need of your proposals, savage. This savage... <coughs> Yearns to hunt her own. The floor is yours, Commander. Thank you, my lord. Oh man, that dude. This dude is fucking brutal! Let's talk to Minago. Right. Right then. I've got duties to attend to. Mayhap we could assist you with said duties. We are here to help after all. The three of you have been busy, so I will understand if you require time to rest. If not, however, it would seem sensible to assist our allies with their preparations. 
We'd be grateful for any and all help you can offer. If you ask around, I guarantee you won't want for work. What's going on over here? Hey, it's the guy from... Is that... No. Uh, I beg your pardon? The man who bested Gaius van Baelsaard wishes to offer me his assistance? I say this is highly irregular, though I have heard it said you had a pension for aiding the coming man. In which case... Before the occupation, I was a humble historian. While my duties leave me scarce time for aught else, I think it important that these monstrous, momentous events be recorded for the benefit of future generations. Primary resources are indispensable, and I had a mind to question a number of my fellow freedom fighters, ask them for the, their motivations for taking up this cause and so forth. You may take down their statements in this log and... Chris, thank you for your service. Now and ever after. Alright, let's talk to the people of Rogger's Reach. Let's do it in a nice little circle. One, two, where's three and four? They must be here somewhere. So I'll start with the top. I'll start at the top. <clears throat> swimming in the sea. Well, swimming in the lake. There we go. Hmm? Aren't you the Icon Slayer? Damned if I know why you'd bother asking someone like me why I joined the Resistance. But it's simple. If I wasn't fighting for Alamigo, I'd be fighting for the Empire. You're either with them or not. You're either with them or not. And if you're with them, you may as well make the most of it. Food, training, citizenship if you live long enough. You'll die stealing someone else's land like as not, but that's the choice. But me? I'd rather die here. Is there someone... Oh. The Temple of the Fist. I haven't been there yet. That'll be nice to check out. Oh, I forgot. We can mount up here. Today we add Trash Panda to the auto host list. Why? Why indeed? To save lives perhaps, or to make amends for the ones I couldn't. My father and my brothers were worked to death while building a castrum. What did it matter to the Garlians, eh? More where that lot came from. After that I couldn't keep on doing nothing. True, true. Okay, this is becoming like Edelshire and lag. All right, let's talk to Athelisa. I was just a cook before all this. Simple fare, really. 
had a chance to lend a hand and help feed some refugees one day. I took a liking to the fighters. They believed, you know. And there's always a need for cooks. Or at least people who can cook with whatever foraging parties he's turned up. Alright. Now, the one place we haven't been to in this whole entire area because least did least neglected to uh, mention to us that it was there. She kind of skimmed past it, really. <clears throat> Say hi to Sarah Kerrigan, who... who's, uh... Why'd I join the resistance? Well, if you must know, it was to avenge a friend the Imperius butchered before my very eyes, back in Alamigo. <coughs> he owned a stall in the market, and a passing soldier snatched up a piece of fruit. He spoke up, heard before I could stop him, only to get a foam of steel in the gut for his troubles. I found my way here, and that was that. Some are here to help others, some as penance for their sins, some of them for revenge. Others don't even know why they're here, but they fight uh, some to defend their home. <laughs> Sorry, let me rephrase this. Some to, some to defend their home, some to defend to avenge their friends. Some don't even know why they're fighting. But they're fighting either way. Well met, Chris. Have you spoken with the freedom fighting headers as I asked? Here you go. Hmm. As fascinating as they have varied, you have a knack for convincing others to bear their hearts to you. I could not have done better than my hat myself. Many years from now, when these tempestuous times pass into memory, their accounts will serve as a window into the struggle. We must never forget, my friend. Never! Alright, what else do we have? I guess we'll go where we're close. So we'll speak to that cook we just uh, talked to. You want to help, do you? Hmm. Seeing as how I'm in no position to leave this stew pot unattended, could you go and ask Teb for a variety of herbs? Six sprigs or so of whatever he's got on hand should suffice. It's not as ha haphazard as it may seem. Depending on the recipe, it doesn't really matter what sort you add. So long as you add something. I'll be here when you get back. There he is. Herbs, is it? Six spreads of whatever's on hand? Afraid I can't spare that much. You'll take two and be glad of it. 
The remainder of your lap to gather yourself. Shouldn't be too much of a bother, though. You'd be surprised what you can find growing underfoot, even in the reach. Hey, look at that. There they are. <clears throat> right, the last one should be up, oh, found it. I'm gonna be hearing this song in my sleep now. Got those herbs I asked for? Thanks. That'll do nicely. And, uh... Sorry uh, to impose upon you, sir. Thought you were another new recruit. Didn't realize until after that you were... But to answer the question that's probably on your mind, yes. It's always like this. Never enough food or supplies to go around. All the more reason to be grateful when our countrymen can spare some for the cause. Though, that comes at a cost, too. Too many villages, too many children more deserving of us. But a man can fight on an empty stomach, can we? So we partake as we must, and we never lose sight of the dream. All right. We're going to get... Oh, now we finally get to meet an Ananta. Ananta. This is the first time we've actually met an Ananta. And this is the first kind of beast... One of the... This is one of the new beast tribes in the area. You look like a... You look like a strider in such of in search of comrades in need. If so, I have a task for you. I am a trainer, and I was told to expect new recruits this eve. Yet nary a one has come. Perhaps they were given the wrong time or location. I do not know. They number five in all. These would-be warriors. Send them to me. Should you chance to find them. Will do. It is hard voicing in Ananta. Let's just say that. A lot of S's. There are five of them in total. And they are all INCREDIBLY FLAMBOYANT! 
Huh? Training? Gah! I was so busy practicing to impress the others, I completely forgot! Thank you! Ooh, what's over here? Oh. Never mind, that's just an exit. See, I thought the fringes were like up this hill. I didn't know they had included that little lake over there. Alright, there's one over here near the etherite. There she is. Or there he is. I don't know, I can't tell. Ah, a thousand pardons. So preoccupied was I by the question of whether Alamigo should be a monarchy or a republic that I neglected to attend my training. How silly, I know. Until we drive the Imperials from our lands, the question is moot. Mm, excuse me. I love how Nobuo Uematsu introduces that piano at night during the nighttime themes. I mean, he did it with the br with uh, Ishgard. That ding, 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 ding. And now he's doing it with this. And I think he adds a harp in there. No, that's not, no, that's actually more classic guitar than anything. I'm not sure if Nobuo Uematsu even knows how to play a harp. I know, I know, I'm late. But I had to say a prayer for my sister first. After what the Imperials did to her. Death was a mercy. I might as well pay my respects, too. <clears throat> All right, let's head across the lake. Be careful of those purple chocobos. They'll kick your ass. Literally. The teacher calls for me? I see. We were discussing strategies for disabling Magitek armor, you see, and... Ah, yes, of course. This is... There is no time. If you will excuse me. I would love to get some of this Alamegan armor. Somewhat. Looks like everybody's coming out from under there, so let's take a look-see. Yep. Oh, bugger! You were sent by the snake, weren't you? I heard one in four recruits doesn't live long enough through their training. That can't be true, right? Oh, bugger, oh, bugger! Wow, I'm being hosted on a lot of servers today. I mean, hosted on a lot of channels today. Uh, 
Oh, I should probably stop this before I get too far ahead of myself. I'm supposed to be doing shorter uh, live streams. All recruits are present and accounted for. My thanks to you, Strider. Not all appreciate the rigor with which I train my recruits. Some favor a gentler approach, as if the Imperials will be so kind. Tis a thankless job to teach, some say. But I say the survival is thanks enough. Fare you well. Alright, we're gonna take a quick break. We'll, uh, be right back. <laughs> 